Think about that again. I think that's a great statement, Brian. You said your hope is that social curation becomes social collaboration, a dynamic way to share multimedia con content, cross-platform, cross-mediums, with others to create results with substance. So you don't think that's being done right now, or the majority of it's not being done that way? No, I don't think so at all. I mean, I think, I think that it's um, what's going on is people are hoping for that. So much of, uh, of the social conversation is an invitation like, hey, can we start a conversation? But the tools themselves aren't allowing it. I, I think that collaboration that, 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 well, here's how I like to look at it. There's a difference between collaboration as like, oh, you do this thing, I do that thing, and we'll pump out a work product by Wednesday. There's a difference between that and a collaboration that becomes inspired, where you, you, know, you, you do something, I do something, and we have a conversation that makes us something bigger in the process. That only happens with something uh, like a collaboration. All right, so, so let, me, let me play, excuse me for interrupting, but let me play devil's advocate. Let me play devil's advocate with you for a second. So I'm on Twitter. Um, my sister just got married, and I'm tweeting out photos of the wedding party. I'm telling people what are going on, and all of a sudden a Twitter conversation takes place, or it could have been Facebook or whatever, and a, a conversation starts taking place about the wedding that I'm at, and all of a sudden people that are in the back of the room start tweeting at the same time if I were doing it live, or if it's the day after on Facebook, people start commenting. Isn't that a collaboration? Aren't people involved, even though I was the one that was shouting, hey, my beautiful sister got married? I, I would say that's more, uh, you know, that's a conversation. That's sort of, uh, that's, okay, that, it's interesting you call that devil's advocacy. I think that's where we're kind of stuck, where it's become almost transparent the way social media is operating. It's this linear stream. So what happens if you start tweeting about the wedding and you show, you, you know, you show a, a photo, but somebody else is on Facebook simultaneously, somebody else is on Pinterest, and why, why can't they be sharing, you, you be sharing uh, uh, photos, videos back and forth, and at the very end of the wedding have this, have this you know, like when you give up to give the, uh, you know, like, like the toast, you actually have a multimedia presentation in the back of friends who weren't at the wedding who are offering their, you know, their, their um, um, congratulations at the same time. That's when you get into a playful collaboration that's bigger than simply a stream.